to me, food is everything. It's everything that I do. It's how I live my life. It's how I organize my life. It's, it's, uh, it's how I find joy. It's, you know, it's how I deal with sad moments and happy moments. Um, it's how I make sense of the world. Yeah, two cards, twelve, please. 2010 was an amazing year. It was the first time we were crowned the world's best restaurant. But at the end of 2010, I was starting to feel doubtful about the whole situation. So the more successful we become, the, the less sort of free and creative we were. The more and more we became restricted. In an 85, 90 hour work week. And who wants to go through that if you're not, you know, enjoying it? I had to do something. I had to figure out why are so many days becoming bad? Why are there so many bad days when you have everything to be happy about? I was so embarrassed. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell my wife about the journal. Because I thought it was like, who writes a journal? You know, it's like Justin Bieber fans. It ended up being a decision of coming home every night and distilling the day. And understanding the process of our creativity and what makes a good day good and a bad day bad. The journal was a quest to tame our creativity or figure out where does it come from? and what fucks it up, you know? And what makes it really good? <laughs> Through writing this journal, in a year, seeing the thread of things, that, that made me make very new decisions for my restaurant and for myself, you know, as a creative being. It just changed things completely. Getting to be unafraid again, that's very important. There's nothing to lose, I'm just myself. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we're gonna go crazy until somebody says stop, you know? 